Hi, my name is Katie McDonald. Thanks for joining me here in my hometown of Victoria. I'm working in the Rialto Hotel and this is the Veneto Cocktail Lounge. This is my home base. The cocktail I'm going to be making for you today is called the Jenkins. The reason this drink is called the Jenkins is because I worked with a chef, Matt Case, and he would never call me by my name, as so many kitchen staff will often do. He would always bellow out of the kitchen, Jenkins! And I knew that he meant me. So when it came time to name my first cocktail, it seemed simple, Jenkins. The first ingredient I've picked is Victoria Gin. Every gin has a profile. Victoria Gin is predominantly floral, with a nice rose tone to it. So it's going to tie in well with all the other ingredients that we're using. G-Vine also makes a floraisance, which is an excellent substitute for Victoria Gin. I'm using an ounce and a half of that. The next ingredient is rose water. As I said, we're trying to link all of these ingredients together into one nice flavor. I'm using a quarter ounce of this. If there's anything to be a little nervous about, it's the rose water. It can easily overpower a drink. The next ingredient is lychee nut liqueur. I'm using a half ounce of that. I've picked Jaffard's lychee nut liqueur because I find that Jaffard uses all natural ingredients and they aren't too sweet so it's not going to offset the balance of this drink. I'm going to use lemon juice so I'm using fresh cut lemons. Fresh squeezed juice is always great in cocktails. You can think of it as your cocktail is only as good as its individual parts. So here we're going to use a half ounce of the lemon juice. Perfect. And to just add another dynamic to that lemon flavor, we're going to put in a dash of lemon bitters. That also creates a nice depth to the cocktail. So you aren't just getting one lemon flavor, you're getting an array of lemon flavors. At this point, I always like to smell the cocktail, make sure you aren't missing any ingredients. I have forgotten honey here. So we're going to add another sweetener. Perfect. Then we can add our ice to our shaker. Lock on your Boston top and shake. Perfect. So shaking the cocktail on ice chills the cocktail, but it also adds a certain level of water content. Water content is really important because it helps to kill a little bit of the anesthetic quality of the alcohol so that your tongue's going to be able to taste all the different flavors. I double strain all of my cocktails so that none of the texture is going to get in the way of tasting the flavors and enjoying the drink. A garnish should always be functional, so in this case I'm using flower petals. The function of this is to be a in mental indicator to the drinker of what they're actually tasting. When I first created this drink, a lot of people said that they couldn't figure out what that floral flavor was. It was so unusual. The rose petals helped to indicate that it was rose that they were tasting. So there is my cocktail, the Jenkins. And I'm Katie McDonald. Be sure to check out some of my other videos for Art of the Cocktail.